You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Detroit. This is where it all began. Well, there are many reasons why we chose Detroit. We felt Detroit was the right place to tell the story we wanted to play. It has this emotional component that we're looking for. It's a city with a very dense history. It's also a city that was a, a giant, went through difficult times and now be born again. And we try to deal with it as if it was the fourth main character in the story. That's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. We wanted to tell three uh, stories in parallel for the three main characters, but we also wanted the stories to uh, interlace and to tell a bigger story, the story of the world. We didn't want to create sci-fi, you know, we didn't want flying cars and laser guns. What we really wanted was a, a world that would be believable, that would be our world 20 years from now. So we spent basically four years trying to imagine what our world will be like, what will be the impact of technology on society and our world in general. So we thought about what would be the impact of having androids on sports. What about music? I mean, we will want to compete with them and we will be able to create something um, as fast and, and as original as the machine would. We thought about how technology would impact the different part of societies depending on your social level. We imagine that technology would have a very positive impact if you're on the high end of the social spectrum because you have money to buy uh, an Android and to benefit from technology. But if you are on the lower end of the spectrum, you probably lost your job and be replaced by an Android. You can take your job next. So technology will be perceived very differently depending on what is your position on society. That was the, the theory that we had in this game. PlayStation.